I was kind of hoping now it would go red. Now spray the chemical indicator about and all will be revealed. And we would do the Emma Sky, everything is covered in blood meme again. Yeah, yeah. Uh, also, Red Fox in the chat says, Zach, it's noble blood, so of course it's blue. That's good. It is so wild that humanity thought that blood was blue for the longest time because veins are like blue. And they're like, no, when it touches the air, it becomes red. But inside your body, it's definitely blue. Like, what? It is kind of funny how we were just straight up wrong about that. For yeah, a long time. so long. And it and it became a very common fact, though, despite that we were just wrong. Yeah. Hey, hey, you want to know a fun fact? Hmm. I didn't. I didn't know that we had oh. figured that wasn't true. Yeah. Oh yeah, that is a. It is. That is a. Fun yeah, thing. I didn't know that. Hey, yeah. great! I learned something today. Who said save data wasn't educational? <laughs> also, the comedian. You're right. We can make an Eiffel 65 joke. Now listen up, here's the story about an investigation that takes place ah. in a blue world. <laughs> okay. And all day and all night and everything we spray is just blue. Like this oh. handprints on the West, wall. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Look, there are dozens blue of little hands, little hands I and the blue little painting and the blue lights. Stop. And everything is blue in here. Just mute him. I'm about to. <laughs> Look, there are dozens of handprints here. So there are. A great many indeed. So much so that it's hard to make out any one individual print, in fact. What? <sighs> It sends a chill down my spine. Perhaps he was leaning against the wall while he admired this picture. Unlikely, I would say. It's a rather dull scene, after all. And without wishing to state the obvious... Oh, that's Dusanto. Oh, and without wishing to state the obvious... You wouldn't generally admire a picture from such a close quarter. The idea I of feel. standing up against the wall, putting your hands, and be like, "Look at this picture! It's really cool. Look at this photograph." They love it when you do that at the Louvre. <laughs> am I gonna be? Ha am I? Be am I gonna be the one who has to say it? Louvre. Oh, about hey. what's going on here. Yeah, maybe he was just I mean, getting railed from behind. Oh, <laughs> oh damn! I was gonna say no. There's something behind the picture, but sure, yeah, you're not wrong. No, I just think damn. this is the wall. Just hands on the wall, getting getting blasted, getting booty blasted. These people look crazy. <laughs> yeah, Blue other, his people, ass. other people saw it. <laughs> I'm not allowed to go to Honey Jail on this one. I'm I am shocked that neither me or Wes made that reaction first. Uh, yeah. Hey. <sighs> Soseki Soseki won. Yeah. The, the Romeo and Juliet yeah. battle, so Juliet came out on top. <laughs> <laughs> oh, very true, Miss Usato. It's a bit of a mystery then. Oh, just pull the picture back. <laughs> Okay, I can't imagine there's much else to... Uh... Can we... We can't get out of this, so... Honestly, I'm surprised there's not more on the fucking brick over there, because we know for a fact that he pulled it back. Yeah. Uh... Well, what's, what, do we, what do we think is going on? Oh, look at the... Did you spray the little piece of wood on the wall? Yeah. Oh, spray the chair a little more. And the mm -hmm. table, maybe. No? Are they not letting us get out of the screen? Uh, yeah, we have to spray some more stuff. It doesn't look like it. I can go to... No, I can't even... I Just spray it. Spray like crazy. Yeah, no, it's not. Okay. I hate that like sometimes it lets you spray fast and then other times it's like nope. Okay. Oh. I feel like okay, I've sprayed I that. We had hit that like several times. Sure. sure. Yeah, sure. It's, it, it definitely seems like we did that. Oh, uh, look at this here. Ah yes, interesting. A multitude of the victims' handprints. 
Why are there so many of them on the floor in this one spot? Oh, perhaps he had a bad fall just here. There's nothing obvious that he would have tripped over, though, is there? Wow! Oh, look, a cat! A cat! <laughs> hmm, no wonder. It's lucky he didn't die. Personally, I often stumble when there's nothing obvious to trip over. I think that's something only a great detective would do, Mr. Shams. <laughs> she literally said, that sounds like a you problem. Yeah. Well, this is quite a puzzle. Handprints all over the floor. Yes. There's no obvious explanation. Pull up the fucking floorboard, everybody. Come on. Look at it. Look how out of place that floorboard looks. Just, just grab it. Well, we sprayed Mr. Shom's amazing skin print indicator all over the room, didn't we? We did. We did. But there are two places in particular that are of interest, I would say. The handprints on the floor here, and on the wall by the picture, you mean. Yes, and I think the floor warrants closer investigation. I won't be a moment. <laughs> ah! What is it, Miss Susato? Look here, Mr. Narahodo. One of the floorboards has popped out. One of the... You mean... It's a secret hiding place. Excellent work, Mr. Soto. So, what do we have in here? Oi, what are you lot doing? Inspector Gregson? Stand aside right this minute. It's my job to investigate there. Oh my God. No need, Inspector. You continue to dig into your portion of chips whilst we dig around under the floor here why is he, why is he doing it like that your fancy talks put me off my food anyway Shones. a new bit of evidence is exactly what i need wow secret hiding place under the floor what a find it's not a hiding place you could make use of in Japan. I didn't think I could live to straw to tell me that. No, I know. But I never expected one of these wooden floorboards to move either. It's got me wondering about that wall over there too. Aren't you curious? Oh. I'll investigate it once. There's nothing behind the picture, sadly. Huh. Only the wall. Okay, so he was just getting railed up against the wall, then. <laughs> We've confirmed it. <laughs> yep. Hmm. How disappointing. But then, how do you explain the handprints? I'll tell you when you're older, Ryan. I'll tell you when you're older. I really can't think why anyone would have been touching the wall <laughs> over and over in one place like that. <sighs> Clickware. There you are. A print for you. Okay, cool. Oh, uh, thank you very much. His invention can make prints too. Uh, now then, I wonder if Inspector Gregson has found anything under the floor there. I'm desperate to know. So am I. Do we have to click on him? Okay, well. Hey, Gregson. What'd you, you wanna, find? You wanna do something? I'd love to know if there's anything hidden underneath the floorboard there. Oh, whoops. Allow me to ask Gregson now. After all, we're well acquainted. Just somebody ask the man. Inspector Gregson! <laughs> really, it's been too long. What is it, Sholmes? I thought perhaps you might show me what you found there, seeing as we're such good friends. We're not friends. <laughs> no, I suppose not. <laughs> well, I'm sad now. A dismissal, a dismal failure. 
I just yes. learned I have less friends than I thought. I'm sad. <laughs> I heard. Uh, I killed to know what was under that floorboard. Ch -ch -ch. Hey, Gregson. <laughs> I said I'd killed enough. No, Ryan. Use the sword. <laughs> All right then, fair's fair. What? You did discover the hiding place after all. I suppose I should at least fill you in. Really, Inspector? Uh, thank you. Do it quickly, my dear fellow. If there's one thing I know about this man, it's that he blows with the wind. As fickle as the weather. Oi! Stop making me out to be some kind of nut. There were three items under the floor there. A newspaper clipping, a photographic print, and a tin box. Now, what do you want to know? Well, ideally about all three, but I'm sure we'll have to pick them in order. <clears throat> Looks like this was cut out of the paper three months ago. It's about a convict who got sick and died while he was serving time up in Manchester. How terrible. I made the headlines down here in London as well. The bloke had been sentenced to death, you see. But nature got him first. Is this the guy who lived in Natsume's room before him? I mean, that's... Oh my goodness, uh... he'd committed a capital offence! <laughs> Man by the name of Seldon. Nasty piece of work. Into burglaries and murder. They say the hoard he knocked off was worth about a thousand pounds. A hoard? Of treasure, you mean? Oh, I bet Natsume's got a bunch of money in his apartment. Oh, and that's he's trying to dig in to find it. Yeah. I bet and I bet he, Natsume if he gets it if he gets sitting. it. Accused not of murder. Not to be sitting on a, not to be sitting on a fucking gold mine. Oh, that's funny. Oh, so you're that saying this funny. capital offender left all of his treasure <gasps> in, in one, one piece. piece? Yeah. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> all you have to do is find it. No, this is this is <laughs> this is Shamspear digging, <laughs> and not to is like. Shams was like, I don't want to dig anymore. And Asami goes, well, that's too damn bad. You keep digging. <laughs> now it's holes. Which, you know, all I do is... Eat them. Eat, eat holes, dig, and sleep. Eat holes, oh. eat holes, dig, and sleep. So good. Jewelry and the like. But he'd hidden it somewhere. And no one knows where. And now he's dead. The papers loved it, of course. A thousand pounds, lost en route to hell, or some such was the headline. Does it not strike you, though? Why such an article would be so carefully ensconced under the floor? Ensconced is a good word. Mm -hmm. True. I suppose now you mention it, it does seem a bit odd. Perhaps I'll go over the paperwork we've got on Selden back at the yard and see if I can turn anything up. Hey. New evidence. La 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 la. Oh, hey. That's, oh, hey. That's the, oh, hey. That's the guy. That's Olive's boyfriend. Yeah. And Girth, Girtha Deb. So, this is the photograph I found. Looks reasonably recent to me. Yes, it would appear to have been taken on the street in front of the house here. And the gentle and the gentleman on the left is Mr. Garadeb, the landlord, of course. But who's the young man on the right, Mr. Garadeb's son, perhaps? Look at his face, Ryan. Do you think that's this man's perhaps. son? You can take that print if you like. Really? What? Are you sure? Why? We can presume, therefore, that the yard already knows. The identity of the young fellow, that is. Oh, okay. Oh, is this true? Hmm. Well, it's too bad if we do. 
Unfortunately for you lot, leaking information isn't one of my pastimes. Okay. I would go very far to ensure information doesn't get out. Yeah. I might even make a deal with a criminal if it avoided information getting out. And maybe I commit don't know perjury. why that would be I don't know why that would be relevant to you lot. But... I don't know why I'm saying it's so I don't want to make a big deal about it, but yeah. that's how far I would go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> My dear inspector, if I may be so bold as to point something out, you already have. <laughs> uh, pastimes are for one's leisure, but this is for work. <laughs> All the more reason I'm not telling you. A dismal failure! Yes, I heard. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder why a photograph like this was hidden under the floor. I mean, Mr. Shamsby himself isn't in it. It's here under the floorboards! And then we found this pair of boots. <laughs> Photographic prints are still rare treasures in the East End. I imagine Mr. Gary Deb was rather delighted to have been immortalized. He probably made a proud present of it. Is no, that it's... guy Sham Spear? Because that would be what? No, it can't be because no. Olive was talking yeah. to him. Yeah. I was like, that would be wild. Now, his tin box looks interesting, doesn't it? Might I suggest, Inspector? What's in the box? <laughs> <laughs> that you open it. What's in the box? If you were to find something inside that reveals the truth behind this case. Perhaps ahead of some famous actress, <laughs> I wouldn't be in the least surprise. Yeah, funnily enough, I've already had a look. It's completely empty. Mm. What? Shamspear? Give us a clue, man! <laughs> you didn't even have the chance to utter a word, Mr. Narahodo. Yeah. But anyway, at least we found out what's inside the box. Yes, thin air. It's empty. Rather like how I feel on the inside. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, well, thanks. All right, Eeyore. Is there well, nothing more to this box thanks then? Thanks for noticing. I wonder. It's thin air in a box. <gasps> oh no. Everybody, look below your oh, no. feet. It was, it oh. was, it, there was a cat in the box. It was Schrodinger's cat. <laughs> Aw, hi, you little murderer. <laughs> oh, look. It's that lovely little kitty cat. Natsume. Uh, what was its name? How'd you get out of jail, Natsume? <laughs> it's Mr. Natsume's, isn't it? I don't think we've ever actually asked him. I don't think we've ever asked him, actually. Why don't we call it, um... Oh, we come up with it? Wow. 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 You know, like All Mr. Right. Natsume refers to himself in Japanese. I wonder how he got in here. Clever cat. Oh, wonderful. Well then, Wagahai, oh. here's something delicious I bought for you from the cat's meat man. I guarantee if you pull apart the stage backdrop, it's a elaborate passageway which leads down into not there there apartment. has got to be something behind there for yeah. sure yeah i'm just for like down the sure. behind it. this is not instead of room. instead of a post a movie poster with a babe on it shamspear put up a fucking <laughs> theater <laughs> set yeah that's good <laughs> oh yes the meat of my enemies <laughs> delicious okay that's pretty cute I will feast on my victim's entrails soon enough. He, he couldn't be happier now, look. <laughs> I just hope we can I am bring... sated for now. <laughs> I just hope we can bring some happiness to his owner, too. La. Uh... Oh, click on the key. Oh, look at him, he's oh, making he's, biscuits. He is making biscuits. <laughs> okay, did you say something funny, Wagahai? That zoom in got me. I didn't expect it to do that. Oh, look at you making oh, a big stretch. Oh, big stretch. Yeah, the big stretch. 
I was such a cheeky little meow, Wagahai. <laughs> <laughs> cheeky Nyandos. Ah. Oh, but he's so adorable. Oops. I could sit and watch him forever. I think he may not appreciate that after a while. And we have an investigation to get back to. Okay. Uh, uh, can we pull we, this? We... Oh, they nope. won't let us look at it. Damn it. Uh, well, you know what? Let's look at the map thing, because that usually tells us if there's a thing. Oh, 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 oh. Are we sure we've asked everything we need to. Okay. There we go. Thanks, video game. Yep. Yeah. Okay, we got to oh, present. Oh, we got to present. Yeah. Uh... Maybe he would know about this? Or he could probably also know about the Capital Offender. Oh, yeah. And clarify for That's sure good. that that was the person. Yeah. Oh, what's this? Or if not him, we could go to Garadam. It's a newspaper cutting that we found in Mr. Shamspear's room. Oh, so he knew, did he? Sorry. About this man, Selden. A convicted killer and the evil spirit behind the curse that afflicts my lodgings. What? He's already taken one young man's life, and now... Oh, no. He's trying to take the life of another, a miserable, mustached, much maligned Japanese man. Mr. Natsume, if you know something, please, you must tell us. Tell us everything you're a cop, you can tell us. <laughs> yeah, otherwise, it's <laughs> entrapment. Tell us everything you can about this evil spirit. Capital offender Selden. I'm an offender with a capital O. <laughs> the truth is, I didn't know the details myself until very recently. That Selden man was arrested about a year ago now. And at the time, I, he was hiding out in lodgings at Mr. Garadem's house. What? He lived where you do now? That's right, yes. Exactly where I live now. In my very room. In this very room, there's a capital offender. <laughs> like one of us. I don't know. Oh, my. Your room was previously occupied by a criminal found guilty of a capital offense? But before his sentence could be carried out, he died in prison. Well, that was three months ago now. And that's when it started. The c c curse. Oh, yeah, because that's, that's Shamspeare digging into his room. Yep. What really is this curse you keep mentioning, Mr. Natsume? It's already caused one death a few months after the criminal passed away in prison. The man died in the room. The man who rented it after Selden, in fact. Oh, fucking Shamspear killed a guy. Yeah. The poor lodger, he, he was found dead in mysterious circumstances. The room was locked from the inside. And this person is somehow really related to all of... This game really likes locked from the inside. Yeah. Locked from the inside? Exactly like the case we're dealing with right now. So, that's the convict's curse, is it? Yes. Well, that was the start of it. Do you have any idea how the lodger before you passed away, Mr. Natsume? The official cause of death was asphyxia. When they discovered the body, the room was full of gas. Oh, shit. So he got, like, max gas and just pumped it downstairs? This guy's fucking evil. Holy shit. Yeah, man. Yeah. Shamsteer might be, like... A top-tier <laughs> evil villain. Yeah, what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> gas. I only found that out after I'd signed the lease. Wow, wait a minute. I know. Yeah, wow. 
And Mr. Garrett, <laughs> can you tell me dead. later? I want you to know, the last person who lived there died of gas poisoning. <laughs> But surely that's not going to happen again. What are the odds of that happening? That'd be Come terribly on. unlikely. But if you smell something, <laughs> get out of there. <laughs> but but also, who, whoever smelt it, dealt it, as they say. <laughs> so. Don't come crying to me when you start smelling <laughs> things. When Mr. Gerardev came to tell me later, I couldn't stop myself trembling. In fact, if I'd known beforehand, I'd probably have been too scared to take the room. Landlords, lease! Luckily! Legally! Legal! Lucky for Mr. Garadeb, maybe. But not so lucky for poor Mr. Natsume. And you believe this curse is affecting you? It is. It is! At first, I just felt as though I was being watched all the time. And then you talked about having nightmares, didn't you? The dead are t t trying to take me with them. They come for me and tried to s suffocate me. Dude, I just think you're I'm... dying from gas poisoning. Yeah. Oh my yeah, god. I think that's what's happening. Oh Dude, you're just I'm... dying. Oh my god. <laughs> just when I'm the struggling to breathe, to you, I wake serious, up. Bro. And the room is as cold. <laughs> that was good. Nice. That was good. I'm willing to sacrifice my love. But why is your room so cold? London winters are too cold to bear without any heating and no heating on overnight. But for some reason. Even though I light the stove before I climb into bed at night. Yo, if you just got told about a gas leak, that might not be the best idea. Just throwing that one out there. Oh, okay. The pilot light always goes out of the room fills with gas. But, but that's terrible. That's exactly the same situation as what led to the previous occupant's death. And then there's what happened to Mr. Shamspear last night. One, when he was mysteriously poisoned. There's clearly more to that incident than can be explained by a curse, though. Whatever can be the cause of... Whatever can be the cause of all these strange happenings in Mr. Garadev's rooms? Well. Okay. That feels good. Yeah. Um, yep. Okay, oh, time to talk Garadab. to Garadev. Nice. Oh, yeah. I mean, he, hopefully he can tell us who's in the... Picture. Right. Yeah. I bet their Good last call. name is Green. Throwing that one out there. Ah, oh, you're here now, Mr. Garadeb. I'm assuming if we came Forget. earlier, he wasn't here. Did yeah. we? Did we? Have we talked about this? What are the What are the Kirby things again? Oh, it's like Mr. Shine and I can't. Mr. Remember what Bright names and Mr. Are. Shine. Is that it? Mr. Bright, Mr. Side. Right, <laughs> Mr. Uh, the, the Kirby sun bosses. The moon from Kirby. Yeah. Oh. I can't remember the names. Channel. Oh, it is Mr. Bright and Mr. Shine. Wow. Yeah, you got yeah. it. Yeah. Hell yeah. Wow. <clears throat> right, belly business it is for me, you know. Getting about, getting out and about. Were you at the old Bailey by any chance? Naturally. Fate of my lodgings hanging in the balance and all that. Not a trial to miss. The fate of what's already been dubbed your haunted lodgings, yes. Of course, the place has caused quite a stir around the capital on more than one occasion already. Is the old haunted lodgings or some such? Ah, well, at least he knows. Makes you wonder what the blaze is going on, don't you know? Hey, yes, it does. <laughs> yes, I'm sure it does. In fact, thinking back to Mr. Natsume's other trial just two days ago, you were at the Old Bailey then as well, weren't you? Testifying with your wife about what happened. Stopped off at the prison on the way home, in fact. Beastly business. I see. How's your wife doing, by the way? So, 
What brings you to my haunted abode today? Well, I'm a big fan of Haunted Mansion, and this isn't quite as good, and Eddie Murphy's not here, but... <laughs> that joke was nothing. <laughs> They're remaking Haunted Mansion again. I know, I'm excited. I'm no, excited. why? It's it's art. This is the third time this movie's been made. Yeah, but I like Haunted Mansion. <sighs> it's fun. It's like goofy horror. Yeah. Some fishy fellow from the far east and a failed <laughs> actor chap of questionable character. Not goofy horror. It's just a horror movie with goofy in it. <laughs> G -g 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 gorge <laughs> Yes, the house does seem to have become something of a magnet for rum fellows of late. Thanks to that belly curse. The convict's curse, you mean? Ah, heard the stories, have you? One scoundrel was arrested here. Then the next chap in the room goes and keels over. Yeah, there was that woman who dropped dead just outside the street, not to mention the actor yesterday. Well, first off, she didn't die. Secondly, that was your wife who threw a knife out the window. So, <laughs> just want to make sure we're clear on that one. Uh, Am I next, eh? more honest about exactly what happened. <laughs> well, you can't help but get the collie wobbles, can you? I like that word. That's good. The collie wobbles. When you say the collie wobbles, <laughs> what exactly does that mean? When you say the woman who dropped dead outside on the street, do you mean Miss Green? Because she's not dead, my guy. Miss Green, who was stabbed by the knife, which was dropped by your wife, and Mr. Shamspear, who was poisoned last night, are both very much alive still. Yes, well, so is that blasted convict's curse, it seems. Personally, I should be quite content with such lodgings. A bath, a toilet, a fireplace, fascinating history. Why, it sounds like the lap of luxury. Hmm. The windows are pointed up with bricks. I'm not so sure about that. It's steeped in history. Well, there's no bath or toilet included. And no fireplace either. Oh, well then I hate the place. <laughs> but you... Do look out for your tenants, don't you? Nope. By watching the rise and fall of the flames in your gas lamps up here. Yes, never hurts to keep an eye on things, in case there are any mishaps or such like. I think you've had your mishap already, sir. <laughs> That's not helpful, Mr. Sholmes. Heaven forgive me. The words just came to my lips. Me too, Sholmes. Me too. I'm Happens hoping. To I'm me hoping that all he. The time. Oh, oh shit! And him saying that the lights came on or off at like 1 a.m. is because what's his fuck cranked up the gas to try and fucking kill Natsume. <laughs> try and commit a murder. Yeah. yeah. Also, Some... make sure we uh, make sure we present him the photo after we finish talking to him. Yeah. Though. Yeah. Some fishy fellow from the Far East and a failed actor chap of questionable character, eh? There's no need for that, Mr. Gabardeau. That's right. Mr. Notome is in no way fishy. He's more like a cat. Mm. He's a he, is under... <laughs> <laughs> he is undeniably peculiar, however. Is it right that he took the vacancy immediately after the previous tenant passed away? Yes, that's right. I asked the estate agent to find someone, and he popped up the very same day. Never come across a chap so keen for a place with a, a background, as it were. I don't think it was the room's background he was keen on so much. Uh, so much as the cheap rent, actually. So, how long has Mr. Shamspear been lodging under your roof? How long has Mr. Shamspear been lodging under your roof? That failed actor chap? Oh, let me see. Oh, of course. Yes, it's been three months now. Quite sure of it. Only three months? He's quite new here too, then. And to what do you owe your certainty in that regard, Mr. Gary Derb, if I might ask? Well, uh, 
It was that Selden scandal, as it happened. Selden? The convict, you mean? Do Selden and Shamsby have some kind of connection, then? Yeah. Oh, okay, well, there's one more option first. We'll do that. Yeah, I wonder if maybe they were partners or something. Yeah. That convict chap Selden. Passed away in the clink three months ago now, you see. Some malady or other. Yes, we've seen the report from the newspaper at the time. Well, it was only three days later that the tragedian showed his face. I was playing as the, the last. actor fellow. <laughs> What'd you say, French? <laughs> the oh, the Plagueis the The tragedian of Darth Plagueis the It was Plagueis only three days wise. later that I was told the tragedy of Darth Plagueis the Wise. It's not a, it's not yeah, a story, it's, the Jedi. It's, <laughs> it's, not a, it's not a story that the Bobbies would have told you. <laughs> <laughs> Some say he had powers that were quite... Unnatural. <laughs> <laughs> really? Where's my Sith Garadab artwork? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Darth Darth Garadab. <laughs> Actually, I could Luke, see him. I could I'm see your... him rocking a <laughs> what the fuck, Dooku, a Count Dooku like look, you know? Yeah. Twice the pride, double the belly fall. <laughs> Yes, I remember it quite distinctly. Fuck the the real Colby Jax is Girth Vader. That's really fucking good. <laughs> Ryan, I'm your belly father. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not possible. <laughs> I'm Japanese, so that really isn't possible. <laughs> It is small, this world we inhabit. Prithee, landlord, hear my request. I, the humble Shamsphere, do desire to take thy room on the middle floor offered erewhile for rent. Uh, terribly sorry and whatnot, but that won't be possible. Already have a lodger on the middle floor. Ground floor rooms vacant there. Oh, he fucking killed her to get the room. Yes. Yeah, wow. Nothing can be made out of nothing. Let me repeat mine will unto thee. Those curls must be muffling your ears. The room on the middle floor's taken. It's ground floor or nothing. Very well, we have an accord. Glad to hear it. Welcome to Bio World. Lo, a sham spear dance to celebrate. Uh, this guy. <laughs> it's it's genuinely bonkers that he is like this silly ass facade, and we know he's what a fucking, fucking psychopath. Two people. Yeah, what the fuck? He's absolutely deranged. Yeah. From what I heard in court today, it sounds like the chap was thieving gas. Yeah, just honestly, if Shamspear is this bad, just wait for the Wes and Zach evil arc <laughs> that's coming up. I was going to say, like, like Shamspear pulls aside his, like, curls, and he has, like, a huge, terrible scar on the side of his face. <laughs> oh, Yo, shit. shit. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Our joke about being Irish or being an actor is fucking true. Oh, my God. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> wait, what joke is that? Uh, we said, if you're Irish or an actor, you're evil. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's bonkers. And he was three months in arrears with the rent, too. Yes, the fellow is a belly play he was a belly player, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for your candor, Mr. Gary Deb. We are most grateful. By way of appreciation, allow me to say one or two words. What? Give me my robe. Put on my crown. I have immortal longings in me. Uh, what's happened to you? He's quoting Shakespeare, Ryan. Shakespeare, my dear fellow. One of his most famous lines. But yes, the kitty pause was very strange. I wish to divulge my own learning of the subject. For I never turn for literature too, you know. Perhaps you could turn your attention to more apt lines, then. 
Uh, all right, uh, we'll present that paperwork. Or the yeah. this person, damn it. I have a feeling like we're probably close to being done. I, I think I think it's this and maybe one more location. Yeah, I'd be okay. surprised if there's much more after this. We've gotten Hell yeah. Mm -hmm. We've been to everywhere pretty we've been we're, like to pretty we're much booking everywhere, it. So. Yeah. yeah. Mr. Garadab, could I ask you to take a look at this photograph? Nice, nice. Is that your son who's with you there? No, no, not at all. He was a lodger here hmm. once. Duncan Ross was his name. Damn, Duncan I'm Ross. Duncan Ross. Duncan Ross? Duncan Donuts. Duncan? Duncan Ross. What no, did you say, Duncan Ross? Ross. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you're, you're saying it wrong. It's Ross. <laughs> a street photographer happened to be passing, so I asked him to take a shot. Just for kicks, really. Was he by any chance the lodger before Mr. Natsume? Well, Spider Friend, sure 10 bit saying there's a massive content warning for the end of the segment. It gets pretty heavy. Okay, thank you, folks. There's your content oh, warning. Oh, wow. <clears throat> yes, that's right. Ah, the young gentleman who died in the room in mysterious circumstances. Oh, he's dead. Yeah. Just what Mr. Mustache was waiting for, one might say. Yes, uh, young Duncan lived in the womb at the top of the first flight of stairs before the Japanese chap. Would you mind telling us a little more about him? Yes, Duncan was. Young chap was attending art school and worked to pay for it, mind. Moved into the middle floor room about a year ago after that criminal Selden was arrested. Young students were always on the hunt for wombs with a history behind them. A hunt for wombs? A history of cheap rent, maybe, yes. Yes, well, anyway. It was one morning about a month ago now. And quite worked up the old trick of watching the gas lamps to see what my lodgers were up to at the time. So sadly, I was rather tardy to discover what had happened smell of gas that alerted me it was ah yes synonymous with the smell of death called the police straight away of course and the officer kicked the door off his hinges and once we got inside we all barely collapsed because of the gas yes the room was full of it no air at all Stove must have gone out while the poor chap was sleeping in his bed. So, Mr. Ross suffocated to death? Of course, the police gave me a sound ticking off because the gas pipes are so old and all that. Can't tell you how much it set me back to have the lock rep replaced all over the house. But even after you had all the work done, Mr. Notsume says the same thing. That the stove goes out at night whilst he's asleep in bed. Well, that's a... Well, that's the belly curse. The convict's curse. I've done my duty as a landlord now. Someone's feeling defensive. Ah, oh, that reminds me, actually. Yes? About young Duncan. The night before the poor chap perished. He'd been writing a letter. A letter of affection to a young lady. Who just so happens Aww. to be the woman that my wife accidentally stabbed. It's so crazy. Uh, small a world. A love letter, you mean? Yes. Uh, where did I put it now? Why do you have it? Ah, here it is. Let it on my desk. Garadev, it's weird that we found two love letters in your room, but... Uh-huh. <laughs> Maybe if, if you stop having me. love letters riding around, you'd stop getting. <laughs> your wife would stop yeah, beating right? your ass. Not to victim, not to victim blame. Yeah, no, here, definitely but... not to victim blame. Definitely not to victim blame. <laughs> but you would be helping yourself out with the whole <laughs> jealousy issue. If you'll excuse me, let me see now. What does it say? 
To my most beautiful and charming sweetheart. Um, do you think that we should be reading such a personal piece of correspondence? Yeah, he's dead. He's dead. My dear Mr. Sutter, that is precisely why I prefaced my reading with, <laughs> if you'll excuse me. <laughs> I said no offense, it's, it's, so it's okay that I said something I offensive. I was going to say, Sean's the kind of guy who says no offense for saying the most <laughs> mean uh, thing you could possibly imagine. Mm -hmm. I will not excuse you, Mr. Sholmes. No. Sadly, he didn't address it, though. So I had no means of delivering the thing. Rather sad, really. I see. It's going to play on my mind. But really, the identity of Mr. Wasser's sweetheart has no bearing on the case. I think we should leave well alone. Yes. Little do, do you know, Susato. It does. I suppose you're right. Indeed, the intended recipient's address is missing. However, as I've already read the entire thing, there is a name attributed to the man's most beautiful and charming <laughs> sweetheart. Mr. Sholmes, please, I've already had to chastise you about this once. My undying love to you, my colourful darling, Olive Green. Uh, uh Olive Green? The woman who was plunged into a coma after a knife plunged into her back outside this very house five days ago. The coincidence of it all. The victim of the last case Suseki-san was in court for, who regained consciousness only yesterday. Is it just chance that her name has come up now? Could it possibly be a mere coincidence? Mr. Narahodo, whatever can this mean? Reading personal correspondence can have its merits, you see, Miss Susato. <laughs> okay, okay. That was like a right, long pause. I was like, was, is he gonna say He's something? Like, well, uh, see you later, I guess. Uh, the hospital? There it is. Olive. Uh -oh. oh no, she's gone! <laughs> We're out of Healy, where'd she go? <sighs> boop, boop, boop. Mr. Narahoda, I've just finished speaking with the doctor. It seems Miss Green is well enough to be discharged at last. This is good news, but hopefully just before she leaves... Uh, what is it? Miss Green! What are you doing? Oh no. Don't, oh don't no. Do what I think you're doing. What was that? She clearly just hid something behind her back. One moment. I'll be with you in a jiffy. <laughs> oh, uh, hello everyone. What are you all doing here? The doctor said I can be discharged, so I'm just getting my things together. Miss Green, what were you just doing? Oh, um, nothing, really. I was just about to take some medicine. The doctor prescribed for me, that's all. Well, we were hoping to have another quick chat with you, if that's all right. I don't really have anything else to tell you. All right. She's definitely behaving strangely. Let's see if we can coax something out of her. Also, that key she has is probably very important. It's the key to the chest. That holds the gold. It's the key, yeah. to, the, it's the, key to the one piece. It's the key to her heart. Uh, it's wonderful news that you're going to be discharged, Miss Green. Oh, yes. I mean, thank you. Once people are better, the hospital staff don't want them lingering and wasting space. Not people like me, anyway. So I I don't think I should keep anyone waiting. I probably shouldn't stand around and chat. She certainly doesn't seem to be in the mood to talk. That's for sure. All right. Well, we're going to show you a picture of your dead boyfriend. Oh, we don't have the letter. We have that. Miss Green, 
we were hoping to ask you about someone. Mr. Duncan Ross. You knew him, didn't you? Oh, ah! shit. Oh, no. What is almost certainly... Dang and Rampa blood! Oh, no. She was Great drinking blood. Is she a vampire? <laughs> oh, no, I'm so sorry. The bottle of medicine fell down when she did. Oh, Miss Green, are you all right? I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to startle you like that. No, no, it's all right. I just wasn't expecting it. But how do you know about Duncan? Duncan Ronpa? It's a franchise we won't play. God damn it. <laughs> Duncan right, Ronpa! Right. Duncan Ronpa's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Ross had been writing a letter when he passed away. The landlord found it in his room. It was a very personal letter to you. It was at the art school. That's where I met Duncan. A year ago now. He was working to fund his studies. He dreamed of becoming a professional artist one day. And the two of you became romantically involved? Yes, that's right. We were very much in love. We were engaged to be married, actually. Aww. That's why he decided to move into a cheaper room. To save money for the wedding. Oh, that's tragic. And that's what led him to Mr. Garadamps. Yes, he told me he'd find the worst but cheapest <laughs> room in the entire East End. Oh, buddy. And then, one month ago, that's when it happened. We're so terribly sorry, Miss Green. Well, it's on the past now, I suppose. Poor Miss Green. She looks desperately sad. I was starting to think that's just her look. But now I see that she has every reason to feel the universe is against her. Aww. Um, I do hope you won't think I'm being rude, Oh but... no, did the rat just eat the poison and now the rat's gonna be dead behind uh, her? Oh, oh shit! That's... <laughs> Would you mind leaving me in peace now? I have to leave the hospital soon. Oh, I'm so sorry. We didn't mean to hold you up. Of course, we'll be on our way. Mr. Dari Hodo! God damn it. Oh <laughs> yep, the rat's oh dead. Oh my god. Wow, Jesus Christ. Rat Healy, no! Rat Healy! Did not earn his medical degree because uh, how are Jeez. how, how, how are the doctors gonna instances. how are the doctors gonna perform their duties without Radahili giving them <laughs> commands? Oh, and I don't man. know if Radahili would have done the best at that because it just drank random liquid on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, radahili has been working a 12-hour shift. Yeah. He was thirsty, okay? He was in the middle of his residency. <laughs> <laughs> that's your that's your that's that's the lesson of this stream. No matter how thirsty you are, don't drink strange ground liquids in hospitals. <laughs> <clears throat> Surely you are not about to leave. That's quite out of the question. Well, uh, Mr. Sholmes, I didn't realize you were here. But of course I was, my dear fellow, watching intently from the shadows as always. Well, make your presence known next time. Mr. Sholmes. What's this about? It's something which occurs to me with some regularity, Miss Susato, is this. Why do detectives insist on such an ex post facto modus operandi? Why solve a case after it's happened, instead of preventing a case before it happens? That is what sets a great detective apart. Isn't that the plot of that one movie? <laughs> Oh, you're talking about Minority Report? Yes, the Minority Report, exactly. <laughs> Fuck yeah, I love Minority Report. That's a good movie. What do you mean? 
There is a case waiting to happen under our very noses, Mr. Narahodo. So let us avert disaster. Let us prevent this case from ever happening with nothing but careful observation. All right. All the clues you need are set before you. You need only look, and you cannot fail to see. Yeah, we can see. We, it's literally right behind we everybody. You can do it, Mr. Narahodo. I know you can. Okay, I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to Ms. be Green, looking at. Miss Green, could you literally take one step to the left, yeah, please? Yeah, thank you. Oh, and I bet that's a suicide note as well on the counter. Oh, for sure, for sure. That mouse seems to be dead. Look, I didn't notice that before. Did you? I, perhaps it drank the medicine that spilled out of the bottle. But that's... That's the bottle that Miss Green was about to drink from when we arrived. You... you don't think! Ah, I see you've come to appreciate the true nature of this scene. That's a wild way of putting that. That of a tragedy about to take place. Yes, I... I think it's falling into place. Miss Green, the contents of the bottle you had before was... was has spilt out on the floor. And the poor mouse that drank it has sadly died. Uh, I think it's clear that that bottle must have contained a powerful poison. Don't worry. I will attend to the mouse presently. Miss Green. Were you intending to go the same way as that rodent? To take your own life? Uh, Once we'd left, you would have put it to your lips again, wouldn't you? And taken the poison! I... I... No! <laughs> Miss Green, please! Please talk to us! Okay, I'll look at this. It definitely feels as though this card must be relevant. I mean, when we first arrived, Miss Green was standing with it in her hand with what can only be described as a very tense atmosphere. Yes. It may very well be related to whatever incident Mr. Sholmes believed was about to happen here. Perhaps we should, we should ask Miss Green about it. Oh, is she now over we, now on we the can right? Talk to oh, her? okay. Oh, okay. Oh. Well, there we go. Oh, well, there we go. <clears throat> Ten seconds later, we would have arrived at a very different scene here. In all probability, we would not have enjoyed this most delightful conversation. Of course, perhaps it hasn't been quite so delightful from your perspective, Miss Green. Actually, in a way, now that everything's out in the open, I feel like a weight has been lifted. Tell me, how did you acquire that medicine? Well, with this being a hospital and all, right. when the doctor comes to examine me in the mornings, he always leaves the medicine cabinet open for a while, so I, I stuck this out when he wasn't looking. How? You're like two inches tall. <laughs> I've got mad hops. <laughs> it conspicuously lacks a label. I wonder what it contains. Let's see if it's tea. <laughs> oh, it smells terrible now. <laughs> I'm afraid I don't really know. But I thought if I drank it, it might just stop the pain somehow. Damn. Oh, please, Miss Green, don't talk of such things. Well, it seems clear now that it contains poison. Yes, that poor little mouse is proof of that. Oh, no. Oh, it's all my fault. What have I done? I shall remove this to my office, Miss Green. I take it you have no objection? No, none. Nice 
Neither the sender's name or address appears to be written on the envelope of the card. It arrived by post at my home the day before the incident that put me in the hospital here. Uh, quote, I have information regarding the death of Duncan Ross. Come to the Slug and Salad on Briar Road at 5pm on the 17th. Slug and Salad is a good name for a pub. Don't tell uh, anybody else about this letter. Makes me think they don't keep good care of their produce. No, it's they, <laughs> they, they sell escargot there, Bridge. That's what it is. It's a French fusion restaurant. Don't tell anybody else about this letter or the meeting. It is a matter of utmost importance. Wait a minute. The 17th of this month? That's the day... The day that you were stabbed on Briar Road! And... 5 p.m. Oh, so she was en route to go to that. Damn. It's precisely the time when the incident occurred. The Slug and Salad, yes. A pub on the northern corner of Briar Road. Briar Road? Being the street that Mr. Garadeb's house is on. Does this mean that... Yes, I'm sure you've guessed. That day when I was struck in the back by the knife. I was actually on my way to the Slug and Salad. Goodness. So that's what you were doing on Briar Road that day. I'm sorry I didn't see anything before. I think I really will have to ask you to excuse me now. I've told you everything. Yes, I'm very sorry to have to drag up such painful memories for you. No, it's fine. Miss Green. Please. Promise us you won't try to... do anything like that again. Yes, don't worry. Your detective friend has the bottle now anyway. And besides... I've been stabbed in the back and had a close shave with a bottle of poison and I'm still here. <laughs> I think I'm destined to see things through to the end. It might sound a little conceited, but well, that's how all this has made me feel. Go get him, Olive. Yeah. Hell yeah, Olive. I'm glad they ended that scene on a good note, cause goddamn. <laughs> Leaving Miss Green and St. Bartholomew's behind, we made our way back to Baker Street with Mr. Sholmes. Ooh, night time. Well, it would appear we've reached the end of the investigative trial for today. Investigative trail. Yes. Oh, it's late. And, Mr. Narahoto? Did you discover anything that may be of use to you in court tomorrow, do you think? Nah. <laughs> All right, well, we tried. Details about Mr. Shamspear, Mr. Garadeb's lodgings, the convict, Selden. There are many facets to this case, and we're yet to see the heart of it, if you ask me. That's my feeling, anyway. I can't help wondering about the result to the analysis. Into Mr. Natsume's tea, you mean? Yes. Will they have found strychnine in it or not? Well, I feel that either way... It will be hard to escape the grip of our friend, Mr. Reaper. Oh dear. Yes, Beric von Zeeks. But I wish you every success, of course. And though I was late to rise this morning... And though I was late to rise this morning... Tomorrow will be a new dawn. I intend to spring from my bed at a crisp hour and attend the trial. Mr. Sholmes, you're going to come? Indeed. Whatever happens, I shall be there. Assuming my eyelids cooperate in the morning. Well, I think we've done all we can. All that's left is to remain focused and to keep fighting for Mr. Natsume's cause until the very end. 
Yeah. London, London, the world's most prosperous city, home to six million people. But away from the razzle dazzle, <laughs> down back alleys, and behind bricked up windows, the lonely lurk. So Sekisan had battled long and hard with loneliness during his many months here. And so I felt honor bound to battle equally hard for my compatriot, to lift the curse that had gripped him. As Mr. Shom said, tomorrow would be a new dawn for all of us. To be continued. Yeah, hearing six million, I'm like, that's not that many people. But this is a hundred years ago, so. I'm sure London and is for some reason, above 10 million. We see the point. same we see the same six people in, in, yeah, yeah. in the court every single time. <laughs> but folks, that's gonna do it for another ace attorney with an actual liar. Uh, if you like this, you can catch it live on twitch.tv slash save data team as we go into the final trial day of this case next week. Uh, and support us on patreon.com slash save data team. Uh, but until next time, court is adjourned. Goodbye. Uh, James, uh, just one drawing this week. He, he uh, have Zeke's with facial hair in different styles. Oh, shit. Ooh. Whoa. Damn. Look at his, <laughs> look at his chest hair. Oh, yeah. Out. The chest hair is I like love the wild. Fact that he has, I love the fact that he has purple chest yeah, hair. <laughs> it's, what would you call that? Because people say the curtains match the drapes. This is like the tapestry matches the, the drapes. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah. Not, yeah. <laughs> uh, true gastropod with snace snustorny snails <laughs> is turning to the snails, snails. <laughs> yo these are super cute <laughs> this is really cute also I appreciate you giving gumshoe the crown for king of the himbos <laughs> incredible always this is so good I love this uh, Sophie with tried my hand at one of those ship art things <laughs> uh, my two crushes male and female just started dating <laughs> man talk damn. about a power couple damn they would have the most beautiful child Gorgeous together babies. yeah <laughs> Uh, Levi, with I just wanted to say thank you for giving me some something to look forward to every week uh, one with a little computer screen with my favorite gat characters Oh, that's cool. Yeah. That is cool. Again, I, I like your use of like different layers on top of each other uh, to give your art like a texture. It's really cool. Yeah, for sure. Uh, Athena yeah. bookmarks. They're little photos that you get from photo booths. Yeah. Oh, that's also Aww. cool. That's very cute. <laughs> yeah, I love that. I also we'll appreciate get to these. Her these are from the, the old Bailey Mall. <laughs> that's good. <laughs> Uh, bacon eggs. First time posting art for the streams. I drew the boys dancing because yeah, yeah. Ooh. This is super cool. This is really yeah. good too. Yeah, uh, I love the finished product. Yeah, the the, the shading on the final one. On the sunset nice. and everything. With this the little is, light effects. Yeah, this is awesome. And they have rings because they're married. Because they're married. Yo, this is so hey. good. What a what a great uh, first entrance, bacon and eggs. Thank yeah, you for sending thanks, this. Thank bacon you. eggs. This is awesome. I'm a big fan, big fan of yours. Yeah, actually. big big yeah, fan big of fan. your breakfast. <laughs> big fan of your art and your breakfast. Uh, Infamous Dorky with Sham Street versus Metterman Animatic. Hell yeah! All right, here we go. One, two, three. To be or not to be. Oh, I, I love this one. Shakespeare. Well, then you do it then. The f I will. Say less, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> now might I do it, Pat. Now he is praying, and so now I'll do it. And so I am revenge. And so he goes to heaven. Well, that would be scanned. A villain kills my father, and I, his soul son, do the same villain send to heaven? I've seen this before. <laughs> That's so good. That's very good. <laughs> uh, I appreciate you working the actual like animation that he does of like the cut across the face. That's really good. Uh, Kumamoto, hello. It's been a while since I last put art in here, so I thought I'd share something. Nothing too big, just a pretty woman in a dress. That's yeah, a very I mean, pretty woman yeah, in a dress. Incredible. Very pretty woman. Hey, listen, <laughs> listen, Mia, Mia, up there, top tier. I mean, there's a reason we call her Mommy Mia. 
That's true. And it's not just because of the joke. <laughs> and, and that's the reason why I'm leaving Save. <laughs> oh, fuck you. That joke was good. Lila with uh, Drew Shomes is a D&D &D character. I didn't want to change his outfit much, but I still like quite how, quite like how the design came out. I'm probably going to do this with some more Gat characters at some point because this is super fun. Uh, also, sorry to any violinist who might be seeing this. I don't know how the violin works. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Yeah, Charisma 20 for sure. Wisdom 6. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah, pretty good. he's yeah. one of those guys who the intelligence is high, but the wisdom is low. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, for sure. Uh, Mina, uh, Phoenix and Maya caught an Ace Attorney, not clickbait. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is really good. I like the the lighting on this is really nice. Oh, it's up. the it's a it's a scene from Ace Attorney Investigation. Oh, oh, invest. Uh, sorry, I didn't see the eye. I thought up. it was the exclamation mark. Yeah, they're in the but background. But it's like a close-up drawing. I think I made the same mistake when I first read it. Then. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Cool. Uh, society. When I was drawing Eustace Shamsphere for the art channel, I couldn't help but notice that visually Eustace looks much more like Metterman, which seemed to be the perfect opportunity <laughs> to draw a video game character as Eustace Bag from Curse the Cowardly Dog for a third time now. <laughs> no, it's really good. It's really good. Oh god. Stupid dog, you mm. made me look bad. <laughs> ooga booga booga. No, it's so good, society. Uh, Damon. <laughs> you like gang? <laughs> That's so good. Uh, the fucking, God. also just the pose, the fucking leaning up against the wall. I know. The, <laughs> you like gas? Holy Christ. <laughs> Uh, we've got an obligatory Shelly comic uh, with another uh, content with another comic with Matt. Mr. Ungard, I must talk to you about a serious matter immediately. Uh, yeah, sure. What is it, dude? It's about your pet cat, Shoe. Oh, no. Is he okay? Did something happen? No, Ungard. Listen to me carefully. <laughs> Stop giving your cat so much salami. His health will rapidly <laughs> decline if you do not cease this behavior. But... But it's just a little tree. Am I not clear? Stop giving shoe salami. God, that's fucking uh, funny to me. All right. <laughs> it's so good. The serious face really does it for me. Uh, uh -huh. That's really good. Toes and Moss, sh a short No Deal 6 comic for this week. It's this time finally featuring Mia. Mia is the older sibling of the group, tries to keep an eye out for Miles and questions his taste in men along the way. <laughs> Aw, she looks great. Yeah, it's dope. She looks great in a, little, in a turtleneck. Mm -hmm. I I think I like him. Who, Phoenix? Yeah. Thoughts? <laughs> so, when I took the... Uh, down a few pegs, something in my place... Yes, he told and me all prez. I know. Just... <laughs> my God. <laughs> Asking thoughts on something and responding with and prayers is so it's, good. It's a deep cut. Yeah. It's actually kind of powerful. It's really good. <laughs> uh, Sunshadow, hi, I'm new. I love your content and all the art here. Here's a necklace I designed based on iris. It's made of glass and plastic oh. flower beads. Uh -huh. The pendant is something I threw together with felt. The drawing was going to just be a doodle of iris wearing the necklace, but I got a little carried away. She's fancy. Yo, this is Aww. adorable. Oh, yeah, this is so good. And I love the cogs on it too. The theming on that. Oh, this is Again, adorable. See, seeing, seeing you all get crafty oh. is so fun. Yeah, and like the iris the wearing it is so cute too. Yeah. Oh, oh I love this sun shadow. Yeah. yeah. And thank you again also for posting new content. Hell yeah. Yeah. Exciting. Uh, <laughs> Val. <laughs> yes, a facade reference. Holy shit! I have no idea how many people know Facade, but making one person check in, that's not. gonna be worth it. It is... What is Facade? It's a game I actually want us to play on stream one day. It's a Flash game where you can actually type responses into the thing, and all it is is, like, you talking to this couple. Oh, so Dr. Decker. Basically, but they would actually, like... The, the AI behind it was actually pretty smart for, for 15 years ago when it came out. Thank you. Thank you for this. Thank you for this one. <laughs> it was a deep cut. Uh, Yen with I'm sorry. We're going up against the Reaper again. Yeah, it's quite an interesting sobriquet he has, the Reaper. Every person he has ever prosecuted has met an untimely end. You think he most li you think the most likely suspect would be Lord Van Zeeks himself? 
Quite impossible. He fell under suspicion right away, but he always had an airtight alibi. So you were here all night. Then. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, are you serious? Cover your ears, Iris. Oh, did I say that part out loud? I thought I was just thinking an image. Oh well. What's a lock of shame, honey? <laughs> <laughs> that little thing that I was saying that is just, so what's good. What's a lock of shame? What's a lock of shame? <laughs>